rising oil prices and global environmental concerns have focused attention on further efforts to enhance energy saving technologies for ships. Here we look at an energy saving device developed based on research on water flow behind the propeller boss that is now in use on vessels worldwide. We call it PBCF or propeller boss cap fins. The PBCF was developed in 1987 by Mitsui OSK Lines, West Japan Fluid Engineering Laboratory, and Nakashima Mitsua Propeller, and it has been adopted by more than 2,000 vessels worldwide. MOL Technotrade undertakes the marketing and sales of the PBCF. Designed by West Japan Fluid Engineering Laboratory and manufactured by Nakashima Mitsua Propeller, The reasons behind the success of the PBCF are as follows. It can easily be installed on both new building and existing vessels. Installation work is very simple and maintenance is easy. There is no need to modify the hull in any way. It can also be installed on either fixed pitch or controllable pitch propellers. The major classification societies place the PBCF outside their classification rules, so there is no need for vessels to be inspected upon docking. Once the PBCF is installed, it is effective for the life of the vessel. Ship owners can quickly recover their initial investment through fuel savings. First, let's look at a propeller running in a cavitation tank. When a conventional boss cap is used, a strong vortex is generated, as you can see. This is called a hub vortex and results in a loss of propeller efficiency. This illustration shows how this hub vortex is generated and explains the basic principle of the PBCF. For a clearer idea of what happens in three dimensions, let's look at a two-dimensional view of what goes on at the root of the propeller blades. The strong vortex generated behind the propeller is clearly visible. Now let's look at the situation from the coordinates fixed on the rotating propeller blade. The difference in flow velocity between the upper and lower surface of the propeller blade results in a strong downward flow from the trailing edge of the blade. The downward flow of each blade integrates into a strong hub vortex. As a result of the hub vortex, the propulsion energy of the propeller decreases. What happens when a PBCF is installed on the propeller boss? The fins are installed behind the propeller blades just where the direction of the hub vortex changes so as to hold back the water flow. The strong downward flow from the propeller blade trailing edge is rectified by the PBCF fins. The interrupted flow gives the fins a strong push in the same direction as the main propeller rotation. This reduces load on the engine. In addition, the effect of the fins increases the propeller's thrust and so improves propulsion efficiency. Thus, by eliminating hub vortex, the PBCF reduces shaft torque and increases thrust, significantly improving propeller efficiency. In other words, the PBCF eliminates hub vortex and diffuses propeller slipstreams, thus recovering energy that would otherwise be lost. In addition to confirming PBCF performance in model tank tests, we have developed a new analysis method using CFD, or Computational Fluid Dynamics.
This shows propeller slip streams as calculated with CFD, one with PBCF and one without. Without a PBCF, a long pipe-like vortex is formed. The water flow past the propeller boss, shown with red dots, is integrated in the center of the boss cap aft end, forming a swirl. That's the hub vortex. However, with the PBCF, you can see that the water flow past the propeller boss is blocked by the PBCF fins. So the water flow is not able to form a hub vortex. Now let's see the effect of the PBCF in terms of pressure distribution near the propeller slipstream as calculated by CFD. In this figure, the red indicates high pressure and blue indicates low. In the CFD simulation without a PBCF, the center of the boss cap aft end is blue, which means forces opposite to forward motion of the vessel are generated. The blue area shows a hub vortex. Now with the PBCF, there is no blue area in the center of the boss cap aft end because the hub vortex is eliminated and thrust is increased. Now let's visualize the PBCF effect. We have analyzed more than 100 actual vessels, both small coastal ships and large ocean-going vessels, based on their sea trial results and actual voyage data. This graph shows speed power curves. The blue line shows vessels without a PBCF, and the red line shows vessels with a PBCF. With a PBCF, Less main engine output is necessary to achieve the same speed. That means the engine consumes less fuel and the PBCF achieves an energy saving of about 5%. And at the same horsepower, the vessel speed increases by about 2%. Other merits include reduction of torque-rich conditions, reduction of stern vibration and underwater noise, and elimination of rudder erosion. Now, let's take a look at how the PBCF is designed and manufactured. The shape, position and angle of the fins of the PBCF are determined by the shape of the propeller, so the PBCF must be custom designed to fit each vessel. We have amassed a large database from tank tests and actual ship evaluations and specialized software is employed to design the optimum PBCF for each vessel. A PBCF mold is made based on the PBCF design. The PBCF is made of the same materials as the propeller and cast in one piece. Then the PBCF undergoes machining and finishing. Dye penetrant tests and other inspections ensure the quality of the finished PBCF. Then the PBCF is shipped, with all fastening bolts and other accessories for installation included. Normally, it takes about three months to deliver each PBCF. The PBCF is installed in the same way as an ordinary boss cab. It is bolted in place and installation takes only about five hours, even on large vessels. The PBCF is slightly heavier than an ordinary boss cap, but the difference is negligible. This means it is easy to fit a PBCF to existing vessels without any change to shafting design. The PBCF is installed with bolts, so a torque wrench must be used to tighten them to the specified torque setting. As explained here, each PBCF is customized based on the propeller design of the vessel. PBCF are effective for all vessels regardless of horsepower or vessel type. Thus container ships, bulkers, VLCCs, car carriers and ferries will all benefit from a PBCF.
Now, a look at some of the results of PBCF effect analysis. The PBCF effect on new building vessels was analyzed by using the sea trial results with and without PBCF. The blue line shows the result without a PBCF. The red line shows the result with a PBCF. The comparison shows that the energy saving effect of installing a PBCF is about 5.2%. These are analysis results based on voyage data. Once again, blue shows the result without a PBCF and red shows the result with a PBCF. Comparing the data, we can see that the energy saving effect of a PBCF is about 3.9%. Finally, let's see just how much fuel is saved by installing a PBCF. If we assume 5% effectiveness for vessels with a PBCF and calculate at average fuel consumption and operating ratios for several kinds of vessels, an 80,000 horsepower container vessel will save some 2,800 tons of fuel per year with a PBCF installed. For example, a VLCC would save about 1,500 tons of fuel and a Cape size bulker about 800 tons. Typically, owners of container ships and VLCCs save enough on fuel to recover their investment in PBCF installation after about two months. With other vessels, it takes several months. The PBCF is simple and easy to maintain, yet it results in about a 5% reduction in fuel consumption. No other energy-saving device in the market can offer this level of performance. Thus, the PBCF delivers clear advantages in reducing operating expenses. Energy saving has at least two benefits, economic and environmental. Both are important issues that ship operators and builders must address. PBCFs offer a simple way for vessels to operate with greater energy efficiency and this contributes to global environmental protection.